Hey guys, you're watching Grab a Gear, and we've gotten a lot of requests for what is the actual range of the Prius Prime in all electric. Even though it's a hybrid, it can run in all electric, and people with the gas prices are wondering how far can you actually drive it on a daily basis. So we're gonna do two videos. One, which I just started the car, I'm gonna turn the AC on. Uh, Dan, if you wanna take a look right here, says that we can go 38.3 miles. The AC is turned off. I'm going to turn it on. Right here, guys, it says we've gone zero miles. So we are going to do a stop and go traffic, normal, what's it gonna be like driving if you live in a town or a city and you're driving you know, to work and home, how far can you actually go with the AC running? So that's what we're gonna do. I will let you guys, uh, in on everything as we go. Probably a couple little clips here and there. So, all right, here we go, guys. One of the things it does say, let me get to it. So down here it says 38.1, but if you look up here now, it says 33.4 with the fan. So with AC, it does say it adjusts to it. So what we're gonna do is just stop and go we're not gonna be doing no 70 miles an hour. We're just gonna go on a nice drive, see what happens. So, all right guys, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. We are almost to the point where we can actually start making more videos and stuff. And uh, we have 99.8% of people not subscribed who watch. So please do me a favor, watch to the end of the video and uh, subscribe that would be great we really would appreciate it so all right well i'll touch base with you guys in just a little bit at 91 percent just about to drop to 90 percent here you go you can take a look 1.6 miles in 10 percent of our battery but if you look straight ahead we are coming up to another red light so far we've caught in three red lights back to back ac still blowing full blast still claiming we can do 34 miles on EV. The uh, Obviously the stop and go traffic is what really chews up the battery is what I've noticed. Um, once we get going on a normal day on like a bypass road or something where I can do 40, 45 miles an hour, it really stops dropping pretty drastically. So that's good. But Obviously, if you live in a city where you're going from home to work and, you know, there's a ton of traffic, stop and go, stop and go, back and forth, the acceleration, uh, that's where it's going to chew up your energy a lot quicker is what I have found. So, you know, here we are, I just accelerated again from that stoplight and we're at 87%. So, it does draw it down pretty quick. Um, I forgot to mention the EPA rates the EV range at 25 total. So not sure how accurate that is because I've never really done a range test on just the EV side of it. But you do reach in a little bit, which is nice. So here we are coming down to this next stoplight. We're at 84%, we're back at 85%, 86%. So we're gonna obviously chew that up uh, once we accelerate again. But this is stoplight number four. So 32.8, and it says we have 86% power left. Hopefully you guys can see everything that we're talking about. So it's, this video is gonna be a little choppy because I'm gonna not record this whole thing. It would be a 30, 40 minute video or whatever. So it's gonna be in it, you know, off and on, off and on, just like us accelerating. So. All right, well, we'll check back here in five more percent. 80% mark, and we've gone 3.5 miles. We're doing 49 miles an hour. It's a 55 coming up, so I'm gonna go ahead and accelerate, just like it's a normal day, head into work. Um, my guess, after 15,000 miles on the car, um, my guess is with the AC running, we'll get about 25. So we'll see what it actually comes to. I. Uh, I'm going to do another video, guys, with no traffic, middle of the night. If you're just doing 45 or 50 miles an hour, just how far can you go? 
So that way people know, hey, I'm just gonna drive from here to here. There is no traffic. Can I make that, you know, from my house to the shop, but you live in a small town and there are no lights and very little traffic. So we're gonna get you that range also. It'll be in another video, so keep an eye out for that. But like I said, we're doing 55. AC is going full speed, literally. Um, claiming 29.4 left in range. We're now at 76%. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is end up touching base with you guys at 50% to see how far we've gone. And uh, so I sort of let you know what my thoughts are at that point. So Dan here, the guy who's recording me, he, uh, what was your guess, 18? 18, yeah. So his guess was 18, mine's about 25. Um, but I mean, the best part, another stoplight. <laughs> the best part about this car to me is if you live in a smaller town or somewhere that you can drive, you know, five miles to work or 10 miles even, you use no gas. And if you're like me and you have solar on your home, you get to drive to work and home for free pretty much. Obviously the cost of the solar, but yeah, it's not really looking bad. <laughs> so to me, it's one of those, that's the joy of this car. The fact that it has EV range, but obviously if you have to drive 50 miles to work, unless you can charge at work, which, hey, a lot of people do that, uh, that would be a really good idea also. If you can charge at work and then come home, you know, if it's 50 miles each way, you get half of it for free pretty much, so. But anyways, guys, um, yeah. So we'll touch base with you when we get to 50%, see how far we've gone, and uh, let you know what we think. So, see you in a bit. 51%. It, just went up actually it was at 50. Uh, we have gone 11.2 miles 50% of our battery is gone it's claiming 20 miles of range which would put it at 40 if it was accurate it's obviously not accurate that's why they call it a guesso meter uh, I could have gone but I'm not gonna do that so yeah it's a guesso meter it's not very accurate guys um, Toyota did install this like this thing right here guys um, it's like it gauges how you see it's 79 so my acceleration was 79% good my braking and how if I'm uh, going steady speed stuff like that it doesn't really help me much when I use it because I don't know you have to like barely accelerate I mean literally barely uh, for it to even Give you a good score you have to break a mile and a half early to get a good score so and then god forbid you accelerate uh, at any point you get a horrible score so like right now it says 98 on my score we got a red light coming up so i'm braking super early We've got no traffic behind us so just region braking coasting and let's see what it actually says i got up to about 32 miles an hour stop it will give me my score of 98 so I did phenomenal there guys so it, it's just one of those where you have to really baby the gas pedal accelerator pedal and you know if you're like me and you're in a hurry and trying to go somewhere you can't go 0 to 35 in 35 seconds that just it's too slow but Right now, we are at 49%. Uh, we have gone 11.7 miles. Yeah, sorry about that, we had technical difficulties with the, uh, the phone. But, <clears throat> um, we're at 46%, 12 miles, and we are still in stop and go traffic. Um, you know, not really going too fast anywhere. So, um, yeah, so we're just gonna keep going. 12 miles, 46%. It's claiming 18.4 to go. It's obviously not doing very good as far as an estimation on how far we can actually go. So we'll see. So I will touch base with you guys when we get down to 25%. So again, make sure you guys like, subscribe. We really need that. And uh, we're trying to grow this channel and we're almost at 4,000 hours of viewing, a uh, whole 164 subscribers and we need those numbers to be up there let's pump them up 
So, all right, guys, I will touch base here in a little bit, 20% more. 5% power. We have gone 16.4 miles and it's claiming we have a 10 mile range. Again, that would put it at 40 miles. Now, maybe if the AC was off, we'll actually achieve that. I don't know. We will find out on the other video. So make sure you click on that one too, which will be up here in a day or so. <laughs> so, but like I said, 25%, 16.6 miles. Everything obviously is working great. It's a new car pretty much, but you know, Dan's guess was 18, mine was 25. There's no telling where it's gonna end. I, we're definitely gonna get beyond 18, I think. I don't see 25, I see 20. That's my guess. Um, but we haven't gone above 55 and it was only for a couple minutes. Uh, before it slowed back down to 45. We've caught over a dozen stoplights. This is probably the longest stretch right here. We haven't caught a stoplight, which is pretty amazing. Uh, 48 miles an hour, so. But we're at 23%, 22%, 17 miles traveled. And we will let you guys know when it gets to 5%, we'll turn it back on and uh, We'll show you guys when it gets to zero exactly what it does, how it kicks on the gas motor, and how there is just flawless transition from electric to gas, hybrid, etc. So, again, guys, like, subscribe, and we really want to grow the channel. So, help us out. We uh, need to get the numbers up. Dan and I, we really are trying to uh, expand the Grab a Gear channel, and we need you guys right there. That's right. Go ahead and hit pause and hit subscribe. We'll wait. Okay, good job. Glad you guys did it. Thank you. Really appreciate it. That's amazing. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we're at 20%, 18 miles traveled. So we'll let you guys know when it gets down to 5%, and that way you guys can see a transition from EV to a hybrid. So see you in just a bit. At 5% power, we have gone 22 miles. 4% power is dropping quite quick saying we got 1.8 miles of range left again i don't believe it um, so we're gonna go until it actually turns over to gas um, my total like stop and go um, what am i looking for like the score i would give myself is i didn't do anything different i didn't micro manage the fuel or the accelerator pedal i wasn't super careful not to give it too much you could probably get it a little bit better you could turn the ac down a little bit because um, i won't lie my feet are freezing but uh you could probably get better than what we're telling you so this is sort of worst it's gonna be at least with the ac on uh we're at two percent power we're just gonna leave it right here so you can burn at a I'll let you guys watch it this section right here so you'll be able to see it go from two percent one percent to zero and then you'll see the engine kick on and it'll actually get rid of the EV symbol of course it's going to take that though. 23 miles so I mean that's not bad to me 23 miles in just electric second now guys there we go so it kicked over the gas engine came on here I am accelerating and it's all now it's hybrid so it was pretty um, you know smooth there's no issues with it kicking over so 23.6 miles from a hundred percent to zero and uh, stop and go traffic we caught about 16 lights I think um, you know 23.6 is pretty good so in other words if you guys can drive 12 miles to work 
12 miles home, you should be able to do it on just electric. Now, obviously, if it's your work is 30 miles away, you know, it's gonna, you're gonna get most of the way there. But, and uh, like I said, you can also, you know, this is worst case scenario. We had the uh, AC on full blast, stop and go traffic nonstop. So, you know, it, I think it could be better. So, again, guys, 23.6 miles of range, middle of summer with it being 90 degrees outside, AC on full blast. So, all right, guys, well, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Tell us what you're thinking. Um, and if you have a Prius Prime, what you guys are getting during the summer with your AC running. We're going to be doing another video, so make sure you go down and look for it. It's going to be how far can we actually go micromanaging the, uh, the, the range or whatever on EV only. My guess on it is 38 miles. I don't know if it's going to happen, but that's my guess. We're going to try it. We're actually going to do it at night, so that way there is no traffic. We're going to be out on the highway and stuff like that, so that way it's easy, soft speed, nothing crazy. So, again, thanks for watching, guys, and make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.